Nuke. Oh my. That was really exciting. Blame it. Tapping away. P250 versus USP. The rest of them are down in the connector with uh, S tag outside of B anchoring that position. So. Not such an uncommon play here in the pistol round for complexity on the T side, of course. MIBR. They had that fall. I like the fact that they showed themselves out on that birthday party, and now they're falling further back, but just showing up, just to be there, is, I think, a good idea. Yeah, this was a, a pretty standard start to it. I think... Oh, blame. He spotted an arm. Had the pre-aim, but couldn't quite hit the shot. There's only two players here for MIBR, and the A exec is coming out. We've got the jump-up smoke coming from Cold. And we also have some utility from Esatag too. Oh, Woody is one of them. And he was real proficient with that USB. He's going to fall back, though, and he's going to get caught. He wanted to get back into cover, but they both get wiped out. They actually put up no defense, trying to relocate in the middle of that execute and getting caught at the same time. Their read on how close complexity really were was way off. Yeah, it was incorrect. Does look like they still want to attempt the retake, though. Or maybe not. They just want to save. They all have full armor. Yeah. It's one of those things, again, where it doesn't feel that great of a call, but at the same time, realistically, probably not going to get the job done by running into the bomb site with three on five and the bomb already down. So you can understand it. And they might be on. I feel like this is the adult decision to make. Even if, even if it sucks a little bit in the moment, it's probably what you should do. Yeah, yeah. If you have to play against both, really, you have to know that they can make those smart decisions and be a little bit more conservative with the with the weapons and the economy. But then suddenly, you get oh. absolute madness. Woody, oh, no, that, that could have been the end of him. But he's fine. Yeah, I I like the idea of having that. Yeah, you can just flip a switch. Yeah, one round to the next, completely different style. Oh. Double boost onto the sandbags. Oh, if S attack takes a step forward, this could be trouble for him. Playing back though, and they give up the boost. Always fun though. Uh, couldn't play a long time ago, but we don't get to see it that often. It has some some obvious downsides. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, but still, it's pretty cool. Did you know you could boost on top of this bathroom sign that's right where Poison is looking right now? Hmm. That the pipe that goes next to it, you can sit on. Oh. I was unaware of that. Haven't seen that. You need someone to sort of, you know, boost you up there, but could be done. Cool spot to maybe take up after you accomplish part of your default. It is very hard to figure out the exact, you know, moment to use that in. But yeah, theoretically, if, you, if they're trying to rotate in from, from, from connector or something, yeah. maybe. Oh. Well, complexity with a great read. Make their way down con, and there is no one from MIBR that is here to stop them towards this bomb site. Bomb will be planted, and MIBR once again have an option to save. Given their track record, you know they're going to take that. There's no way they should try to get back into this one. 2-0 yeah. start. It's a, it's a, you know, just a pretty slow start compared to what was happening on Nuke. But I'm okay with it. Warming up slowly, I'm sure. We'll see what happens when MIBR start to really pick up the uh, the pace here and start to get more rifles on board. I mean, one I was kind of I think I was highlighting Poison as someone I was quite interested in on a map like this. But that was before I saw what Woody had to offer with the AWP. So now, if it becomes a battle between the two of them, that in itself could be I think quite interesting. Um, we'll see if if it's gonna get to it. Yeah, a lot a lot of maps. You couple of deagles. It should be the round for complexity here based on the weapons, but it's never 100%. So let's see how they do. Woody is immediately grenaded off that angle. Blame F. Not afraid to just to walk into that one. Maybe could have been scary. Oh, ho, 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 for that reason. That's what we're talking about. Woody getting the first frag for MIBR in this game as he takes down the opposing in-game leader. Oh, the smoke's gonna fade in a handful of seconds. We'll see who gets the better of whom. Just changing his position in time. Maybe not a bad call here. We could see the shadow of anyone coming around the corner. That could be helpful. They they went for that boost out there again, but S attack, I think, actually somehow went through or was there beforehand. I think he got through before that. I don't think they actually know that he's there. We'll see if it makes a difference or not. Cold with a pretty good kill there. Take down Bieri and 
Poison making the jump over. They've got a good lineup here. Again, when he's that close to the bomb site, there's just not a lot of time before he can just be straight onto it. Turtle, though, signing up for a little bit of a spray. That maybe could have been a double kill for him. That would have been very interesting. Slows the bomb plant, but does not stop it. Exit been... here at CT. Pressing on forward. That's a great nade onto Poison. He's one shot away from dying with any of these weapons. And he'll flash towards spawn as JKS slots himself into the bunker. Oh, Poison, he's got a great angle. It's a headshot one at that. Now JKS, he will be the first contact. MIBR seemingly considering saving, though. Yeah, they're... they're Locking they're, them in, maybe. Yeah, they could find the exits. I mean, if because he's got the scouts back there, so if they try and exit that way... Ooh, good shot there. Yeah, they're not going to go for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, and bolts. A nice shot. That's every player dead from Complexity, even though Complexity win the round. Not a bad... Oh, pretty well done. Fourth round is here. And Complexity. If they can take this one back, are they going to go for the classic Astralis triple nade setup? No one is there jumping, though. So it's kind of all for nothing, but it's worth trying. Yeah, that gives MIBR some information, though, knowing that three players are outside of B. No one from MIBR is taking space because of that, but they are setting up a boost at A. So that should maintain a lot of information for MIBR. And both of these teams just testing each other in the default right now, seeing if anybody's going to give up anything easy. But this has been a hard-fought BO3 thus far, so you wouldn't expect such. I think especially with complexity, I mean, if they win this round after kind of losing a bunch of rifles, I feel like some of the steam might go out of uh, MIBR's engine just a bit. Cause it just feels so deflating. Like, oh, we just took all the rifles away. We've, we've we sort of built into this moment a bit. It could be unfortunate if it goes that way. Woody hiding at the edge of the smoke. It's going to disappear, and he's probably lucky to be alive as long as it lasted. JKS will not let him get away. 35 seconds, and... Theoretically, they could still go back to the B bomb site, but you want to maybe see MIBR get a bit closer to this A side right now. 26 seconds, and the Molotovs go in. This is going to be a full on execute for complexity. And if they get a kill going in onto this bomb site, there's no way that MIBR can actually hold it. Poison tries to go for the swing, and Bieri, he's going to get one kill, but he goes down immediately afterwards. Three versus four, and the bomb is going to get planted. And once again, unfortunately, might be a save call before they can really get close. This was another nice little execute from Complexity. They threw essentially the same nade set on their pistol round. And once again, it stops MIBR from putting up any sort of defense on the A site. But this opening kill, Woody just he just couldn't get away. He tried playing the, the smoke fading. Yeah. And it just it didn't work out for him. There was no target immediately available. And as soon as it faded, I mean, then that's when Complexity swung into him. A little bit interesting. I I feel like they've done a good job so far in this best of three MIBR. Same flavor. Would love to see them try and get some of that uh, style back a bit. Woody has the AWP though now. So interested to see if that's going to make a big difference here. Yeah, it could be the difference maker. He's already posted up towards short. It's a great aggressive angle. Excellent way to be proactive. But no one from Complexity will challenge him as of yet. Although there are quite a few players outside of B, none of them have made their way into short. And once again, complexity, they're just being very thorough on this default, using a lot of utility to take every inch of ground, and it's what you would expect from a, a team that's ready to play overpass. Just good defaulting procedures. That is a nice Molotov. That actually isolates Turtle. He, his teammate had to fall back or push forward with the AWP, but that is a very uncomfortable move as well. That is such a good grenade. I don't even know what Turtle could have done there. They were coming in from either side. 50 seconds. They don't have to commit to the B-bomb side at all. They can fall back. The bomb is really far back. I think Cold is going to run and pick it up. They're in so much control complexity right now. The only thing is, I guess, the time now is starting to get a bit low. Oh, no. Oh, Look at the call. Good. Yeah. It's a four-man A stack. Oh, and B-Ere dying might make complexity think that they should just head towards A. 
Yeah, they might think like this is it, but the lineup is there. Bolts getting oh. the spree, and it's a triple at the end. He had a couple of bullets left to make that work, and now 15 seconds on the side of complexity. They definitely felt like this must have been a near anti bomb site, but now instead it's the stack. And S attack, he gets one eight seconds. Can he find exit in the corner? S attack, very low on health right here. The bomb not going to get planted in this round. He knows two seconds, one second, and he can't get the headshot. Four to one, not. A convincing victory in that round. Could have definitely gone the way of complexity, but they'll take it, obviously. Still want to see them build some more confidence here on the MIBR side. But at least they planted the flag in the map here. Yes. Oh, close. But no cigar. b -A backs off the angle. He's gotten a lot of kills through smokes in this series so far. But that will not be one of them. Uses the smoke to slow down complexity, but complexity, they want to charge on through. They're just pressing on forward. b is going to be flanked. Woody takes down one, he backs off towards long. Yep, realizing no one's coming from that direction. Bolts inside the bomb site. Nearly a double kill for him, but what do you do out here, Woody? He's so alone. If he misses a shot, he's dead. He's gonna get one of them, they're coming. Quick shot fire with the next one, pulls out the USP, but he cannot outdo all that AK-47. Cold hits the ground, and now blame F. One versus two, and this is where you want to see more of those good decisions from MIBR in playing around the bomb and not getting into any one versus one fights here. Even if he's low on health here, just don't give him the opportunity. He can definitely hit the shots if he needs to. Let's just see. Slowly creeping in, Blame F hoping for just an edge kill on someone there. It's going to be a little bit of an open fight. And turn Rotate, and True. the trades just went their way at the end of it all. That is a pretty good grenade against unarmored opponents. Yes. But yeah, I mean, and it's kind of maybe a bit surprising because the default for complexity has looked rock solid. So, I mean, th that is a bit surprising, but maybe that's the logic behind it. It's been working so well, they'll never expect for us to, to, to abandon it now. It could be. MP9 on the side of, uh, of Bieri, so he can, he can do a lot. Yeah, this could be a farm round for him. He's had a quiet game. We'll see if he can give himself something, but wisely backs off. Actually love to see that. That was not a great fight at the moment, but now it's a very good fight. They have to run through the smoke. And he's able to take down two. His teammates cleaning up the rest of it. S attack remains, but they're very aware of his position at this point, and it should be a third on the board for MIBR. Only losing a single MP9 so far. Yeah, just well worth it, isn't it? As long as they can keep the rest alive, they are still on the CT side, so they want to make sure that they don't give away too much here. I, I, I would love to just to see Complexity run the same 1-1-3 default, but like you're saying, sometimes you lose one round and it's a very close one at that, and you just say, we can't do it anymore. Well, Woody, though, pressed on forward. Went for a shot through the smoke. Unable to come up with anything. And now b Array is testing JKS, but oh man, S attack. This looks like the first risk he's taking towards the B site. Catches the head of Turtle. Can't win the duel. Backs off now. A wise choice as they key in onto his angle. I actually love it when people who play that outside B anchor on the T side do go for those kind of plays. It's it's so frustrating if you're if you're playing inside of B and you're not getting the smoke or the Molotov or anything to set it up. Sometimes someone will just walk in and shoot you in the face. It could be real frustrating. JKS, he's going to go down quickly, but still, Bieri is kind of kind of stuck at the center of the map here, which might not be a bad thing as long as he can stay alive. They have to worry about him no matter what they do. The longer he can stay alive, the more value this position has, even, even if he gets no kills. Yeah. Complexity are constantly going to question the angles that they put themselves through as he is here and you can see that yeah complexity th this is adding 20 seconds to the round the fact that they have to get him out if he comes up with even one this is huge oh no way he gets one and a dink onto poison that is that's a massive round for him already Woody now inside of the A bomb site. He's got some backup with bolts back here, and this should be a good round. Oh, wanted a little bit more information. Bolts is going to hold the angle and poison down with the assist of Bieri from earlier. 
Woody does get dropped. That's a bit unfortunate. Eight seconds on the clock there. Gonna, oh, the bomb actually falls away from him. Could he get it just in time? I think he just might be able to. And that makes it a one-on-one. -on -one. Turtle versus Aztag. He knows that he's back here behind the truck, so it's just a question. Could he land the shot as well? Aztag, he nearly does it. But Firepower of complexity, too, that we, we haven't even really been talking about too much in this series. But, oh, early one-on-one -on -one taken. Bolts tagged down to 17. He doesn't really have anything to show for it. Really, really uncomfortable position. Aztag looking to see if he can maybe do something. The timing is unreal. His his read of what's happening inside of that V-bomb site is actually just amazing. The flashes are coming through, and they are going to get swiped out here. Turtle on his own one versus three inside of the bomb site, and they are hunting him down. This is such a good round right here. And Oh, what? no, Bieri, how can he do that? He just walks in, double headshot to bring it back, and now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. JKS versus Woody. Grenade, gonna just tag him up a bit here, but not enough for anything real. M4 versus AWP, still a minute on the clock, and he's just hiding back there, waiting for JKS to finally put down the bomb. Well, he's not actually moving forward, he's just waiting for it. Oh, there's a bit of a spot, now he knows he's behind here. And JKS, jiggle peeking against it. This is dangerous with that AWP, he goes for the spray, he's tagged a little bit more. The pistol might be more efficient at this point in time for Woody, oh. and it's gonna be the headshot. One of the most pivotal rounds of the half. Both teams with practically no economy left in the bank. Winner of this should set themselves up for a couple more. Yeah, this could be such a pivotal moment. Five in a row, here comes the triple nade again. Not tagging anyone. Bolt's probably smiling at that. He saw it again. Same exact position he was in last time. Yeah, feels good, doesn't it? Still have that lean towards the B-bomb site, which is really common. The question is... They're even going to be drawing Woody, not all the way back, but closer at least in the A-bomb site. Which... Might be such a bad idea. And a yeah, but much more back to the more slow default here for complexity. Like we saw earlier, except uh, it's no longer s tag who's playing out here. It's Blame If instead. Yeah, it's kind of become a 2-1-2 two -two of sorts. Complexity looks like they're going to phase this front bathroom smoke. And this might catch B-Ere off guard. Yeah. Oh, man, that that took a while. Cold almost, almost dying. But either way, the opening pick goes the way of complexity. They have put themselves into a five on four. What will be the response of MIBR? Because they're, they're pretty split up at the moment. In another world, that actually could have been... That could have been the end of cold. That would have been really unfortunate. They're setting up a full on execute and look at the call for MIBR. They're already bringing people down. They kind of know it's coming. The flash is really good though. The spray is better for exit. A double kill and Woody also picking up one of them. But exit can't find any safe spot there. 10 seconds on the clock, the bomb is, oh, the bomb is being there, but it doesn't matter, blame it falls. It's all against that if you're complexity, to just think, we got the opening pick, their defense should be spread thin across the map, but instead, that's what, when it hardens, that's when it is at its toughest for MIBR. They just decide to play four on B, and once again, I mean, it pays off. Complexity feels like they're doing so well in these defaults, but MIBR have now gotten a lit. They're on fire. Yeah, six rounds in a row, in fact. This is just really impressive. A job well done. They're up against Tech Nines and, an, and a Mac 10. Flashes go in, and yeah, they're not going to stop here on the T side. Keep going for it. Exit. He's had a bit of a boring time down to the B bomb side, but last couple of rounds have been explosive. He's going to find a double kill, but I, everyone was flashed. I don't think anyone could see anything in that moment. That's really uncomfortable. And MIBR, yeah, slow this down a bit. Make sure you don't give up this round. <laughs> That'll do the job. They threw a grenade at his forehead. Oh. A lot of chip damage here. A uh, lot of spam. And the bomb is still not in the possession of complexity. MIBR will push on forward. This this might catch off complexity. And yep. it does. Well done for BRA. Poison left remaining. And B Just take it easy. Let him try and get the bomb planted. You'll probably kill one of them in, in, in that attempt. Just slow it down, but actually the other the other side also worked out really well. Pushing long, and it's a bit of a double setup, but they knew that. As soon as you know that that forward player is there, you can guess there is going to be a second player out there on the CT side. And actually, it turns out there was a third and even a fourth. But um, they fall back complexity, so they're not going to get a chance to use that almost quad setup at long. 
Yeah, this is the one round MIVR decided to shake things up in their default, but it gets called out by complexity. Turtle. Yeah, turtle. He would have to go nuclear in this round, and they're not gonna let him. They flash in, they walk up, there's one kill. I thought there was gonna be someone immediately behind him. He could have had that double kill. It was close. And the molly misses the mark, so Poison can stay tucked on default. And Woody and Bolts can trap these complexity players on the site. Retake is rather unlikely at this point. So, some damage would be welcomed. Yeah, especially with Woody walking all the way back to T-spawn, basically. That's a position that they might not expect if they're exiting the bomb site that direction. So, actually, he's going to go all the way back. So, not even interested in that part of it. But for seven rounds in a row, I feel like, fine to take a break now. And they, like you said, it was a bit of a risk of going that aggressive on long. It did not work out, and sometimes that'll just happen. Yeah, it... Complexity certainly would love, to, I think, to get more than five rounds in this first half. Ooh, it's a triple setup in connector. Blame F, knife out. He's got some backup here, but he's just not ready for it. It still might work out. JKS, a two-for-one trade, and he's ready in case there's another peak there. Man, that could have been expensive way more. So there's the peak on top of the Molotov. He knew. That is um, scary. Oh, and, and the walkout from S attack. It doesn't work out for him. Now Cold will try his own. Complexity's just going one by one everywhere. But did he find the timing? Cold. Oh, he got spotted. Oh, an exit. Instantly executes Cold. That, that um, battle happening in Connector could have turned out a lot of different ways, I feel like. But um, so far, so good. Three to one for Poison. And yeah, he might as well just leg it the whole way and just try and see if he can get in close. Get something done. A little bit of a jump for information. He does go along. That's a nice shot on Bolts. Still has 45 seconds, so he wants to try and change it up so that what he's doing is not too readable. Woody, yeah, this is where you want to be careful. If he runs too far and Poison hears it, that is good information to work with. Still could go back to B theoretically, but it would be hard, maybe, to make it through all of that. And he's going to be moving towards exit instead, who's waiting up there. Poison is hoping for a mistake. He would love it. Not being given one right now, is he? 16 seconds on the clock, and he doesn't have a smoke to cover himself for the plant. And now they're boxing him in. Now that peak comes through from Woody that he was... Well, the money is not great for complexity either. They have to go for... This is a mixed buy. This is actually really strange the way that they're using their money, but it is just a flat-out B-Rush. They're gonna go for it. Heavy stack on the B-Bomb side right now, and it's paying off. Exit and Turtle and the need to follow it up. Blame it. Try to fight it back, and it will! A big double with JKS chiming in, and suddenly they're in the lead. I actually can't believe they fought their way back into this round. They're gonna catch Bolts as well. It looked like that was a straight shot down. Both the opening kills going the way. Anyone can come up short on you. You might peek out a little bit more towards Monster than you need to. And we saw Exit was the victim of that. That lack of information. Good spray in return, to be to be honest. 15th round. So, MIBR, it's a bit upsetting to see them not have more to fight with than they currently do. I still think, I mean, eight rounds, first half, they lost the first four in a row after losing the pistol. I still think they could have had so much more, but I guess maybe complexity could have too. So maybe 8-7 is a pretty good, pretty good mix here. Woody getting a kill makes it more interesting yet again. Cold though, on a mission to win this seventh round for his team. And another couple of seconds, he could probably get a pretty good spray down right here. Yep, shooting one in the back, realizing probably more of them out there. Blame him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one of those things that we know it's coming. Yeah. None of them do, but we know. Bolts just completely unaware. Poison gets the bomb down. Don't know if they know that Exit is here, but eventually I'm sure they'll find out. He can't just stay hidden forever. Woody's revealed his position. Very low on health and Exit's walking up. If he had a... I mean, I don't know why they would ever walk away in this round. He's going to walk in, get that kill. No kit on him, so not one of those positions where he could smoke and go for a straight defuse or anything like that. They are all around him, and he's going to end up form it to try and make it to the finals, and we'll see this uh, pistol round come underway. Poison took two damage, and I don't know how, but he did. MIB have won no pistol round, is that true? Have they not won a single one? Ooh, it could have been on Ancient. Maybe on Ancient they yeah. won a one, but uh, certainly on Nuke they not got the robbed. Last three. Yeah, and uh, they lost the first one on the, the first half here, which actually 
for complexity gave them a lot gave them basically four out of the seven rounds that they got at the end of it now let's see execute being set up cold zero gonna be the first point of contact be very good taking down and with the follow-up dropping poison as well jks alone on the site trying to fight for his life and it's a really good fight taking down two kills s attack still back here gets the reload in in time can he get one more headshot he knows they're coming for him and they've got the glocks on the other side what a turnaround from jks otherwise they would have probably already lost this round now it's exit one versus two against the two Danes left on Complexity. Oh, they've, they've read the... Oh, no, they just made it their way towards heaven. Exit, though. Backs up. Oh, this is going to be a long rotation for him. And Essatag and Blamef, they've already put themselves in a great spot. Regardless of the bomb site that he goes to, they, they should be quick to it. But this is how the round kicked off. Biere with an excellent double entry. You think the round might have ended right then and there, but no, JKS fights on back. But we're getting back into this one as Exit has made his way all the way up towards the A site. There is no one here to immediately defend, but Blame F and S attack, they're not too far away. Yeah, and they're starting to make their way back, or at least they were moving. They're not actually yet. I thought they were going to go for it. By the way, that double kill for JKS was assisted by s Attack's flashbang. Worth pointing out that he put that up for it, that to even work out. Exit now, they're going to run right in. Oh, that wow. is aggressive. Just instant. <laughs> Normally, you're going to try and find out where M4s. The Eagle's being picked up on the other side, so... Kind of to be expected with the bomb plant. Not afraid to take that fight, even against the Deagles. Could be risky, I would say. But, yeah, they are they're being very aggressive, Complexity. And if they can continue the pattern here and win the next couple of rounds, and maybe even then some, they will actually have a pretty good lead, a pretty good way to build into this. Yeah, this was a, this was a very confident round from Complexity. There was even a case that MIBR could have bought, actually. But, true, they didn't. They just went for a couple pistols. And so, every player from MIBR right outside the mouth of that monster tunnel. And as a tag, he'll want to swallow him up. <laughs> He's got his crosshair right on him. Smoke fades, but there's, there's, so so, there's no real uh, momentum for either team to speak of. That's what we're going to see here. There is a lack of momentum on Poison. He's got three kills. Oh, yeah. And I was highlighting him. I mean, it's on the T side, so that all be part of the get in general and it could be less effective moving around i'm curious to see if i'm going to continue to be wrong on the second half if he can or if he can pick it up and actually have a real impact here certainly not his game so far jks though on the other hand 17 and 11. pretty impressive he has had the series that we wanted yes as soon as they were signed him the desk was pointing it out just just how much impact he had on Nuke to secure that victory for Complexity, and he's delivering a similar performance on Overpass. And this is a this is a little bit of a confusing round for MIBR. They've got a couple of their players towards A, in fact three, and Flamef is approaching them. He's right behind Divider. He has an opportunity to find a multi kill here. Oh, the flash is out. He swings, but no, he's taken down. And the bomb for MIBR, it's outside of B. This has pulled every rotation from complexity, but it doesn't even look like MIBR is interested in moving the bomb towards A. Four versus five, 27 seconds here. Man, that looked like the timing for Blamef was the worst possible that it could have been. Smoke comes up to try and hold him back, but they're going to be walking through. S-Tag, he can't really get both of them there. Bolts will take him down. Still a four on three, 15 seconds on the clock. Nice headshot from JKS to bring down Bolts. Does he have more left in him? He actually goes incredibly aggressive there. Probably too much so. Cold Zero will take down one of the follow-up headshot from Poison Lee's exit on his own. And he tries to see if he can initiate that fight. He does a lot of damage, but he's low on health himself. And Cold will bring him down. It's 10 rounds on the side of... Yeah, they're already trying to peel away. But Complexity still recover the round. Despite that... And now, oh, there's so much control for Complexity now. Blame is in a great position to maintain a lot of information for his team. He's pressed up incredibly far forward. And now MIBR, they're going to try to have to take out this setup. It's not an easy fight for Blame. This, that's the only saving grace for MIBR, despite the fact that he has all of this positioning. 
We'll see if they remember to check it. That's another... Pro oh, oh, the timing. Well, that'll... That'll clear that right up. Yeah, that means Poison just has to kind of give up on that, right? He can't really stick around that position any longer either. Back to B. Bag. Good position, good, good pre-fire, to be honest. He was flashed, but he still does go down. And the rest of this B-bomb side, very vulnerable at the moment. JKS once again on his own, and this time there's not going to be any magic either. He gets dropped, and Poison is on his own. Essentially in a one versus four, but he's already made it a one on two. The bomb is going to be going down, but Bolt is very low on health. Let's see. Oh, that's a connection. He has to do it two more times. Misses the second shot, and this time... Together, ...a very competitive series against the complexity that the desk talked about is still just trying to find their footing because the roster changes have been just constant. It's been constantly hindering complexity. And so it'd be great to get this victory. If complexity can... You know, they, they miss the major, but maybe this is a chance for them to find something. Ooh, flash out aggressive from the CT side. That's going to be really fun. Only the one kill, but it very nearly could have been a double there. You could see he swung for it. He nearly had Woody in that corner. I love that play. Astralis have an incredible... I mean, the, the original line had an incredible version of the strategy where not only would they do that, but they would actually have a smoke that lands at that fence where the barrel is yes. on the T side so that anyone who is pushed forward towards the monster tunnel is locked in there and th their teammates who are basically in T-spawn or a little bit further back just cannot help them. A really, really cool strategy. I've seen it way too rarely. I want to see it more. Yeah, it actually could have changed the tide of this round entirely. Yeah. But Colt's era... Oh, pushes on forward. That is a lot of space for him to make up. And now complexity... They've already got two players towards eight. Looks like... They're gonna meet them. Poison shot onto Turtle, and Blame F is right here to support him. But Poison hits the shot, another onto Turtle. Blame F finally activated. Woody can't take down Blame, who's bunny hopping away from him. And Blame F, he swings for the challenge. Half by for them. Single Mac 10. It's the only primary weapon that has been purchased. And they're making their way towards A. That they should do a lot. Yes. Yeah, it's devastating. One of them only with the Glock, so maybe less so there. Are there going to be more HEs thrown? They're going to be going for a little bit of a boost instead. And again, at that range, the AK is definitely going to come out on top. Oh, wait. He just ran him down with a Mac 10 and that was even at sort of medium range. This is a bit awkward. Kill again for the Mac 10 on Turtle. I actually would love to see that from his point of view, that first kill. It almost, I don't know, it just looked sort of, it was too quick. You just beamed him in the face. Yeah. Yeah. Cold. Oh, caught out. Woody, patient as ever, catches the aggressing Cold Zera. And now the man advantage lies with MIBR. JKS has an excellent position if they decide to reroute towards B, but it does not look like that's in the cards. They should never even get close to winning this round, MIBR. And yet, here we are. Two on three, 35 seconds. Now, some of them are tagged up a bit, and that's unfortunate, but if they can isolate S-Tag up here. Now, S-Tag and JKS are the two best performing players on Complexity on this map right now, so maybe they're going to have a little bit of trouble here. MP9 on the other side. They're going to try and make a jump for it. Smoke up here to buy a little bit of space. 19 seconds still, but that smoke isn't helping him out. That kill, on the other hand, will, and he nearly had Turtle as well. 13 seconds, and it's going to be a bomb plant. And there's a deep smoke there to block off the stairs. This is really awkward. I can't believe that MIBR have got into this position. This is so favorable for MIBR. JKS, he doesn't even have a nade to work with. But if you can find the player on the site, it's going to be an awkward post plant for Exit, who has positioned himself towards Long. Yeah, he's sneaking up. Running out of time ever so slowly, but he does have a kit at the very least. Goes for it, and actually looking the wrong way. Turtle getting himself caught, and now JKS, yeah, he's going to try. No, not even holding it. He realizes where Exit is. I'd say maybe the first time around he could have had it, but now he's going to get peaked instead. <gasps> he gets the headshot, and that is unbelievable. JKS coming back round after round to help. Reset regardless of that. Can they ignore the fact that that was just pretty much an eco, pretty much a half buy? bit of a setup not gonna catch anyone that bullet though that's tag not happy about it they've got a position out on long 
which in itself could be put into play in a couple of seconds here. 12 to 9. It's still not that much of a gap favoring uh, complexity. Flashbang actually goes a little bit too wide to do anything to poison there. But he's up against an AWP, and Woody, he's been pretty quick in this series so far. Didn't even have to be quick, I think, that time. Taking down poison. Oh, Turtle. Shadow advantage for Blame. Turtle backs off. Throws a Molotov. Not bad. He gets away. Yeah, I mean, he could have he could have got caught a couple of times there. Oh, this timing from Bolts, though. Is he going to find himself on the B site? Wow. He's right around the corner. Surely. Oh, he's actually kind of looking for it. He gets the shot on this tag. How do you know how to do that? That seems like a very unlikely position to check, but he did. 30 seconds now. Blamef trying to do what he did earlier. And again, the same lineup with a flashbang from Cold Seer, but it's not enough. And they still only get the one kill. Two on four now, 20 seconds. How much can Cold do on this bomb site with just a FAMAS in hand? This should be a trade. It shouldn't be enough to really hold the site, but he's going to get the area now. More people are coming through on the other side. 10 seconds, 9 seconds. JKS has shown up as well. The bomb has been picked up, but JKS, he'll continue to get the job done. They're going straight for the bomb plan. He can't come off it either, and JKS oh, is low. Yeah. Some of these rounds are so... And at your, I mean, I don't know if JKS is, knows this, but he's actually taking two fights at once, and the first guy in the truck is the guy with the bomb, who just... He's locked down in a fight... And those are the seconds that he needed to have back for the bomb plant. Unreal. All right. Another round, though. And neither team has any control of the economy at all. This is one of the pivotal rounds in this game, if not the most. And it's a slow 3 1 1 for MIBR. Blame F playing rather close at long. He's in a setup with Poison, but Poison only has a scout. So that might not be the best weapon for the job. Oh, what did he miss that? Thought he had him dead to rights. Good crosshair placement, but just couldn't land the shot. 45 seconds. Bomb is about to be picked up. Pretty traditional B-type setup here, but the A defense is far away. Especially Blame F. So, might be risky. Ooh, he goes for the jump again. I would say that's that's scary. 25 seconds. This is going to be B. They don't have a choice now. They have to go for it. JKS will take a kill on Bierian. Can they actually break through? They're solo on time here, MIBR. The bomb is now on the ground. JKS just cannot be stopped. Double kill. They don't even really touch him. S tag saving a couple of bullets there for bolts. And Woody will have to back on out. That's going to be 14 rounds on the side of complexity. JKS is a god in this game. Yes. Yes, he is. Two teams not going to make it out. 14 to 9, 24th round. We've got that AWB on Woody. I was just going to say, if you have this, just go for the bot boost in, in T spawn. It's a classic. But we're not getting it. Instead, we're getting Blame F. That is a, <laughs> that's a very forward position. And oh, MIBR locked in. They don't even know it. Oh, that's a tag. <laughs> oh, no. I feel like all of their luck has run out in the last five rounds. Yeah. Yeah, it has not gone well for them at all. And Cold, oh, he's already right there. They're, they're, they're pinched in. They're boxed in. They are in a very precarious position. Woody, he's just not going to expect that. Cold has such great positioning now. BRA is still testing him, and wow, that's a big kill to come up with. That gives them at least a little bit of breathing room, but it's quickly shut down by s tag this is just looking so complexity favored the nade comes out s tag he's dancing with turtle right now but he has backup in jks this is an excellent crossfire between the two of them but that's an that's a smoke that'll break this that's actually really cool Be running out just a little bit right complexity on a hot streak now winning five in a row blame f Making his way out once again, very aggressively. They're going to flash over, but they don't actually... They flash the other way. I thought that was for him. 
Poison's probably going to get run down here. S-Tag's dead as well, but they don't know about Blameth. He can actually still bring this round back, even if it is a bit unlikely. But they're all out there, and look at it. I think Bieri, he's actually thinking about it. He's realizing, wait a minute, something is up. There's the setup. The spree is there. A big double for Blameth. And now it's a two-on-two. With Bieri very low on health and behind there, he's going to go for it. It's a triple, and he does bring the round back. What a turnaround. Nade lands oh. right at the feet of Bolts. Oh, he is in their minds, and 